What's going on? We back. Mercy Sports Talk in the building. Reacting to the Pistons getting stomped out <laughs> versus the Oklahoma City Thunder. I believe it snapped a five-game winning streak for them. And it was coming off an unbelievable high by beating the Warriors from Golden State. And tonight, uh, Westbrook, Paul George, and Steven Adams was too much for the Pistons. Tonight, um, Blake Griffin had 25-4. and four. I don't believe he even played in the fourth quarter. Andre Drummond was a disappointment again, and I'm going to really much, um, you know, put this video around him. But he had 13 points, 0 assists, 6 rebounds. Reggie Jackson had 10 points, 10, 2 assists, 3 rebounds, and it kind of got personal between him and Reggie Jackson, I think, and a few of these players. And, and Russell, Russell Westbrook had to put him in his place. Um, Bullock got injured, and pretty much, you know, Zaza gave you a little bit of something, but... Other than that, it's no really bright spots other than Lure give you some points in garbage time. Paul George, I don't think he played the fourth quarter either, was 17 points, four assists, 10 rebounds. Steven Adams was 21 points, one assist, six rebounds. I played Dre. Um, they didn't play the fourth quarter, I don't believe. Westbrook was 18 points, six assists, six rebounds. Don't believe he played much of the fourth either. Shorter gave 12 off the bench, 12, 6, and 9. And on uh, New Orleans, Noel was a bright spot off the bench for them. 12 points, 8 rebounds. He's looking like a starter in this league, in my opinion, um, as he's getting healthy and, uh, you know, getting back mentally from all things that happened in Philadelphia, okay? And turning down a huge contract from Dallas. But look like the way he planned, he might can re, uh, revisit some of those contracts talks. But obviously, uh, Blake was hot early on and through the game. They started double teaming Blake, and nobody else can make a play. Um, out there to help Blake out. Um, Blake has been the top 10 Eastern Conference player um, all year. Um, but I'm going to talk about Dre, okay? Andre Drummond, I'm going to tell you this. I play FanDuel, okay? And I'm going to tell you this, bro. Every center that plays Andre Drummond, I pick them and they do well in, in daily fantasy basketball. Andre Drummond, and I've been said this, bro. They got to move him because he doesn't, he doesn't fit today's center and he's not yesterday center. What I mean by yesterday center, he's not a, a, a old school post center that can go down there, give it to him. He gets you two like Shaq every time, or get you two like Akeem every time. Well, he's not Ewing. He could post up and then give you the fifteen footer. You know, he ain't that type of player. And then again, he ain't Ben Wallace. He ain't Matumbo. He ain't Dwight Howard. He does not defend the paint. You know, he does not defend the rim. Where he does not own the paint. He does not anchor. He's not a good defender. And he also, he's not a good offensive player. You know, he's a solid rebounder. But that's it for me to make you the cornerstone of my offense or my franchise. My franchise in particular, excuse me. You have to be dominant on one side of the ball. He's not dominant on neither side of the ball. And I've been telling people this. The Pistons must trade Andre Drummond. Um, I know Tom Gores and him are BFS, But for the Pistons to succeed... They got to give Blake Griffin a, a, a Robin or find him a Batman. And that, that trade is going to really circle around. Can Luke Kennard get healthy, get him something before the trade deadline, look like something, and they can move him and Dre together possibly. And then next year they probably move Reggie. But right now, you know, I would trade Dre. Andre, I said it before. You know, I said it before. If I can get Bradley Beal, a one-two punch with him and Blake Griffin, I'd do it. The bad thing about trading – for Blake Griffin was we lost Tobias and Avery Bradley, which Avery Bradley's starting to get back to himself now. We lost multiple players, you know what I'm saying? And we don't have we didn't have multiple players to give up for, for uh to to the Clippers. But like I said before, man, Westbrook killed it. He went down the paint as many times as he wanted to. I mean, Shooter went in the paint, Paul George went in the paint. If that was Blake Griffin, I mean if that was uh Ben Wallace down there, no. Andre Drummond is not dominant. On either side of the ball. And they have to move him. If this team wants to be successful. If not, they got to hope to hit something in the draft. And knowing their history where they missed on Devin Booker. They missed on Giannis Acapulco. They missed on Rudy Gobert. They missed on a, pl a, a lot of guys. You know what I'm saying? They missed on a lot of guys. You know, and by them missing, I don't really trust them to go out there and, and draft really good, but really they did get a good pick in Bruce Brown. We haven't seen Kyrie Thomas. Bruce Brown is probably the best uh, on-ball defender they have. But it's going to be a while before Bruce Brown really develops into the, the player I think he will become in this league. I think he's going to be a real solid player. But once again, Stephen Adams dominated Andre Drummond. 
Joel Embiid dominated Andre Drummond. I think the other night, Enos Kanter dominated Andre Drummond. I mean, and people are going to say, oh, no, don't trade Drummond. Detroit, Detroiters, Detroit sports fans remind me of my dog, okay? My dog, he loves his toys to death. Even these these toys are beyond repair or just they dead. He gonna love them toys to the to, to, to his no more, and that's the piss, that's the Detroit fans. They can't see Stafford as the problem. They can't see after ten years they still can't see that, and they can't see Andre Drummond as the problem. They still talk about potential, and he ain't improved. Oh, Dre got twenty twenty here and there, but when it's time to get twenty twenty, or it's time to really be a, a defensive anchor, he don't never show up. Every center dominates him that I've seen him play. So it's trying to trade Andre Drummond, bro. I'm telling you, I've been saying this since last summer. You know what I'm saying? Everybody called me crazy, but guess what? I know ball. Out of, out of all sports, basketball is the sport that I can coach and be damn near. I could be a damn near good coach of basketball easily. I know that game in and out. In and out more than any other sport, and I'm very knowledgeable in other sports. Make sure you check them out on the channel, Goodfellas Sports TV, too. <laughs> I'm very knowledgeable. But, like I said, they got to trade this guy. He ain't getting no better. Garnett can't save him. Save him. Can't nobody say Andre Drummond. Get something for him while he has some type of stock. You know, I'll trade him to Bradley Bill in a heartbeat, bro. I wouldn't even I wouldn't even think twice about it, man. You know, Dwight Howard got a butt problem. And his personal issues is his personal issues. However, he got that butt problem, okay? You got to get what I'm getting at. But, yeah, they fall today. I think it's a minor blip. It's nothing really to freak out about, but... I was telling y'all, it's time to trade Dre. Seven mile Dre. Get them buffies off his face. Get them off his face. But, you know, it is what it is. People going to be mad at me for saying that, but I really don't care. Okay? If you ain't noticed my channel, I don't really go with the narrative. I try to just go what I believe, and I don't scare, I'm not scared to express my thoughts and my opinion. But, Pistons lose. Pistons lose. Pistons lose. 110 to 83 versus Oklahoma City Thunder at home. Minor setback for a great comeback. You dig? Don't forget me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You can check me out on all those uh, platforms. Also, make a donation to the channel. That link's there as well. Appreciate everybody. One time for the one time we gone.